Hello everyone, Alyssa here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today I'm putting up my Christmas tree. We don't have much furniture in this room. Um, you can see this little guy's little climber. Yep, and he likes to get inside of the fireplace and eat the ashes, so we had to gate it. <laughs> There's no like doors or anything on it. There's like the um, the wire things that you shut like while you have a fire going, but he can get those open. So we had to put a gate on the mantle. Um, besides this chair behind us and there's a little table. We don't have furniture in this room. I usually work out in here. Um, I do hope to maybe somewhat soon be able to get a couch and a rug and make this room cozy. But until then, it's going to be our Christmas tree room. And I do have dreams of having a very large Christmas tree because the ceilings are really high in here. And I would love to have a tall Christmas tree. But I don't want to spend a ton of money on Christmas decorations whenever I haven't even bought furniture for the room. <laughs> so I feel like it's like priority to, you know, like get a couch first um, and spend my money that way. But as I was getting this tree up, or it's like halfway up, I'm going to fluff it down here and then I'm going to put the top on. Um, I was thinking, and I mentioned before to y'all, about doing like a things I don't do Thursday videos, maybe monthly, whenever I think about them, I guess, because there are some things that are kind of weird. Landers found some jingle bells. Um, there are some things that are kind of weird that I don't do. And I shared a video recently about how we don't do Halloween, why we don't do Halloween. And today I'm going to share with you one. You've already seen in the title, probably. Um, but it's a little bit more controversial. And which is silly. I don't know why it is a controversial topic. <laughs> so silly. But we don't do Santa. My three-year-old, almost four-year-old, knows about Santa. Santa is everywhere. Santa's everywhere all year long. Teachers, even at church, anywhere, family, they're all asking, what are you asking Santa for Christmas? Don't do that, Santa's watching. What are you doing? I think I should have that one. May I have it? It's like a porcelain ornament that I put up in my I'm sorry. Can you take something different? Can you find something else to play with? Here's a whole tree. You want to play with a tree? Ooh, that's fun. Where was I? Oh, you can't escape Santa. Santa's everywhere. And whether or not you tell your kid Santa's real, seems like they just make the assumption Santa's real because everyone talks about him. And everyone's celebrating him. <laughs> All media, movies, TV shows. Every TV show has a Christmas episode with Santa. So Santa's everywhere, so we can't hide him. And I don't think Santa's bad. So I'm not anti-Santa. Um, I'm just not pro-Santa. <laughs> and we can pretend Santa all day long. Um, I, so my daughter sometimes asks, like, is this real or is this pretend? Because she has thought, like, can see Nancy is real, anything animated, you know, she, she's like, can I see Fancy Nancy? Can we go visit Fancy Nancy? And I'm like, Fancy Nancy's pretend. She's just a fun show and a character. Um, and so I told her the same with Santa. Santa's a character. He's pretend. She's, like, asking me what... Santa will break her. I'm like, well, Santa's pretend. We pretend Santa. A mommy can get you gifts. And you can pretend like Santa gave them to you. And she said, don't eat that. Don't eat it. Lander. Ah. 
Crazy boy. So I told her that we can pretend Santa. That's fun. Um, and she said, well, no, Santa is real. And he comes down the fireplace and he brings me presents. <laughs> And that happens, but mommy and daddy give you presents. And by the way, I don't go all out with the presents. Maybe we'll do a video talking about that. I don't know. But, but no, Santa is pretend and he's lots of fun, but he's not a real person. Um, so she asked me why, how does that happen, why does everyone talk about Santa, basically. I told her that, well, someone made up a story one time about Santa Claus. And then somebody drew a picture of what Santa should look like. And over the years, people retold the story of Santa. Companies and media have picked it up and make Santa things and Santa movies because it's fun. And I was like, for example, once upon a time, there was a kitty cat. The kitty cat's name was Candy. And Candy loved to play in the leaves outside. And she loved autumn because of all the leaves. And Candy Cat would run in all the pile of leaves outside. She thought that was so fun. And then one day, some leaves magically stuck to her back and they became wings and Candy Cat could fly. And whenever Candy Cat flew around the neighborhood, Candy would drop from her paws for all the children in the neighborhood. And so they called her Candy Cat. And I was like, see, I just made that story up. That's not real, but wouldn't that be fun if there was really a Candy Cat? <laughs> Well, that's how Santa came about. It would be really fun if there was this big, huge, white Santa man, <laughs> old guy, who came down the chimney and through the fireplace and brought you presents every year. That would be really fun, but it's just for pretend. It's just for fun. Um, and she's totally fine with that. And this is why, this is the reason why I don't do Santa. I want her to trust me. And I know that right now I'm building the foundation of our relationship that is going to support our relationship for the rest of her life. She's learning now whether or not she can trust me. And I want her to know that I'm going to tell her the truth. And some of you might be like, well, that's silly, it's just fun, it's just for play, and that's fine. We do for fun. We do it for play. But I'm not going to lie to my kids. And I'm going to do my very best to treat them as respectfully as I possibly can. And I believe that means telling them the truth at all times. Um, Sometimes, there are some topics that I have to not give as much information because of her age, but I will not tell a lie. I will give as much information as I feel is um, appropriate and not tell anything that is not true. And so she knows that I'm going to tell her the truth. And I'm doing my best to not break her trust. I don't want her to have to question what I say to her. I'm willing to say, Mommy made a mistake. I thought that my answer was true or right, but it wasn't. You know, on certain topics, I might make mistakes. Um, I might think something's a fact and give it to her as such and then find out later that I was wrong. And then we can correct that. But she will know that it came from... Um, a place of integrity with me that I will not intentionally tell her a lie and 
Uh, maybe it sounds silly with something just so simple as Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. But um, what happens is that she will question everything that I say to her um, because she doesn't know what is true, what is real, and what isn't. And, um, and so I want her to be able to trust me. I want Landry to be able to trust me. And so therefore we don't do Santa Claus. We don't, er, in you know, the usual sense of the, of the term, we don't um, tell our kids that Santa is real, that Santa lives in the North Pole, that he's going to land on our roof, that they better be nice because the naughty kids don't get presents. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm not using that. And I'm not going to lie to my kids. So I am not shaming you if you do Santa. In whatever fashion you do Santa, I am not shaming you. And yes, your kids are going to be okay. <laughs> Even if you lie to them, they are going to be okay. But I want to take every, um, every opportunity I can to build trust with my children. And I just feel like that really works against that goal. So, I'm going to keep doing my tree now that I've given you my spill. And I want you to let me know in the comments, do you do Santa? Are you on the fence about doing Santa? Um, do you think I'm a bad mom because I don't do Santa? <laughs> um, yeah, I want to know your opinions. And it's okay if you disagree with me. It's not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> so, um, it's, especially if you only do it in a, um, a respectful way, you know, we can all speak nicely. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts and your opinions. And I'm curious if my thoughts and opinions have swayed you at all or made you give it a second thought. Let me know. Let's decorate. <laughs>